Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of November 4th. Uh, this week you have this card that says take time to breathe out. You also have this card that says a new romantic cycle begins. So uh, take some time for yourself, enjoy yourself. I feel like you need to slow things down <laughs> is kind of like the feeling that I get in this reading. Um, you know, it's like sometimes I think we just want something to be over. And I feel like this is saying that you need to just like enjoy the moment. And here's what I'm talking about. Like I'm a Pisces and you know, when I go on vacation, all I want to do is go home. <laughs> and so uh, it like, you know, this was the old me, you know, I, I used to like not really enjoy the moment, right? And so like, I started like forcing myself to just like enjoy myself and just chill out and, and just not want to be home, right? And so I, I feel like this is a good thing. Like, I'm not saying it's vacation, but you know, it's like, sometimes I think, you know, we get into, a, you know, you have that card that says a new romantic cycle begins. It's like, maybe we get into a relationship and we start thinking like, I wish this person would just marry me right now. Um, but I feel like this is saying, like, just enjoy the moment enjoy the goodness enjoy the good stuff that's happening same thing in business as well it's like you know i always tell a story it's like uh, I moved, years and years ago, I moved to Seattle. I don't live there anymore, but it's like my brother and I, we moved there and we like had like barely any money. We were just scraping by the entire time, right? Um, but it's like, those are some of my best memories or, or that time. And it's like, then I started making money and it's like, it's like, yeah, it's good, but it's like those memories are so much more valuable than money, right? And so I feel like this is saying that, you know, uh, sometimes like when you're when you're in the shit right when you're when you're struggling to get by it, it's not very fun but it, like I think that if you think of it as fun or if you realize that in the future you're going to miss those moments um, then you, you know it can kind of help you just enjoy the moment and I feel like that's what those first two cards are saying uh, you have the seven of wands the queen of swords and the three of swords seven of wands says that you might be a little bit guarded you know sometimes I read uh, past present future outcome in these readings and I kind of feel like this is talking about the past that you know there was a, there is a past heartbreak here and it doesn't even have to be love it could just be something that isn't working out for you or didn't work out for you and maybe this caused you to be a little bit guarded with the seven of wands i do feel like some of you are wondering if you're ready to open up here and just in any area of your life again it doesn't have to be love uh, but i kind of have that question popping into my head like am i ready <laughs> with the seven of wands you have the Queen of Swords, which is pretty good because the Queen of Swords actually says that you are clear. You know, you she only has clouds halfway up her body. And the Queen of Swords always says to me that you have you you have gotten to the point where you have learned like what to look out for. You are clear on what to look out for so that something can be successful. Or if it's not successful or not going to be successful, you are also clear on what you need to like what you need, see when you need to walk away, right? And we even have the Eight of Cups to the Eight of Pentacles. It's kind of funny because these are conflicting energies, right? It's like the Eight of Cups is walking away from something. The Eight of Pentacles is investing in something, putting the energy in, and so the Queen of Swords, again, is saying to me in this reading that you have learned both. You have learned what something bad looks like and what something good looks like, and I feel like you need to trust that. Uh, you have the Three of Swords. Three of Swords, like, I feel some sort of past heartbreak, and it could be any heartbreak or heartbreaking situation. I definitely feel like you need to heal it. You know, the Three of Swords, those swords are in your own heart, and you have to forgive the situations so that you can heal your heart with the Three of Swords. That's the solution to the card. And, uh, you know, this doesn't mean you have to forgive a person or a situation directly. You just have to forgive them in your heart, and then uh, you will be able to move forward. And again, you go Eight of Cups walking away to the Ace of Swords, which is a victory. And so there's clearly like a victory that's coming in for you. But, you know, I feel like healing is going to be the, the secret here. Uh, with the Seven of Wands, you have the Six of Pentacles. Uh, Six of Pentacles is like a slow investment. So again, if you are opening up to something new here, Six of Pentacles just says, take the first step, like go slow. I always say that with this card, like especially in love. Six of Pentacles, you hit the ball to their side, wait for them to hit the ball to your side. It's like tennis, right? You just go back and forth and you just small little steps and see where it goes. And as long as you're not over investing with the Six of Pentacles, you will be fine. So just don't over invest. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, you have the Temperance card, which you have twice here. Again, patience, right? So I think like being patient, moving forward slowly is going to be the ticket to success here. The Temperance card is also about transforming your situation. The Temperance Angel can uh, turn a negative into a positive or a positive into a negative. And I feel like you need to focus on which direction you're going here. I think you need to make sure that you're turning negatives around or if there is a situation in your life that is not favorable. Again, I don't really feel like this is anything too bad. I just think you want things to be better. You go temperance, eight of pentacles to the chariot. It's like you want the victory. And I feel this is saying like, you know, just, you know, just create those small changes and 
you know, eventually you will get there. Uh, with the Three of Swords, you have the Knight of Cups. Definitely could be like a Knight in Shining Armor uh, coming in for you or New Love that's coming in for you. I feel like you're asking a lot of questions about it or something <laughs> is popping into my head. Like you're wondering a lot about a potential connection. Like maybe you already have a person or maybe you're dating a person or maybe you've become aware of a person that you could be interested in. And I kind of feel this is saying like you need to get the truth uh, with the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is knowledge. You know, the Ace of Swords is information. And basically, you, this is saying to me that you have to get the information to find out uh, if this is going to work or not. So, you know, there you go. Uh, next, you have in the area of the good, or what's coming in for you, you have this Hawk Spirit says, let Spirit be your guide. You also have this Bat Spirit says, a rebirth is assured. So, yes, I feel like you are getting intuitive messages at this time that you need to pay attention to. You've had a lot of rebirth stuff with me, you know, especially for those of you that feel like you're reinventing yourself or, you know, if you've had to make a change like in work or business, I feel that you are being guided towards, you know, a rebirth or you are being reborn. I feel like you're coming back stronger. It's giving me very much like Phoenix Rising type of energy where, you know, maybe in the past or the recent past, something has burned down in your life or maybe it feels like something burned down in your life and now you're kind of in this stage of rebirthing, which is good. Uh, next, you have the Temperance card, the Eight of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. Temperance is, again, turning a negative into a positive or turning a positive into a negative. You know, you can go both ways with the Temperance card. So I would make sure that you're, of course, being more positive with the Temperance Angel here. Uh, the Temperance card also is Patience. There is something about Patience here, but I think it's saying, you know, don't rush something, like take your time um, so that you can see, right? Because we have that Queen of Swords. And she needs to be able to see what she needs to be able to see. Like, is it going to work? You know, is it going to work or not with the Eight of Cups here? So I think, you know, taking your time is going to be a good thing. Uh, you have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is about walking away from things that no longer serve you. You know, I, I am getting, I like, hmm, I don't know what I want to call Like, if I really want to call this a spiritual flat tire or not. But I do feel like some of you have had a little bit of a spiritual flat tire over the past you know, maybe a year or so where like something didn't work out or again, maybe something burned down in your life. And now you're wondering like, do I reinvent this thing that, you know, like let, let, let's just say that you had a business like and it failed and you had to start over. It could even be love. Like maybe you had love and now you feel like you're starting over. I feel like the Eight of Cups is encouraging you to release that past situation and start over. You know, just saying that whatever that was, uh, didn't serve you in the first place, and now you're walking towards a victory. Hopefully, you, you walk, you have the Ace of Swords. But you know, the Ace of Swords is a choice because you know the Ace of Swords is above these mountains, and it says that no matter what, you will always be able to be successful. But you have to grab onto that sword. You know, you have to make it happen. Uh, you have the Two of Pentacles. Uh, two of Pentacles like work hard, play hard. Uh, two of Pentacles sometimes says that you, sh you don't have to take things so seriously. So some of you might be taking things in your life too seriously, and I feel like the Two of Pentacles is saying, you know, like, slow things down and, and don't be too serious at this time, and you'll be fine. Uh, let's see. Uh, with the Temperance card, you have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is like fulfillment or wish fulfillment, so I do feel like there could be some fulfillment coming in for you with the Nine of Cups, something that you're wishing for. Uh, with the Eight of Cups, you can't make this up. You have the Judgment card, which is a rebirth. So you're definitely being called to something. You know, this is your higher self angel, and the higher self angel is calling you to something new. These people are in these coffins, and the coffin represents their old life. Outside the coffin is their new life, and they are being called into something new, and they have to leave everything behind. So that, you know, that coffin, again, is their old life. They have to completely remove themselves from the past situations so that they can move forward. And, you know, again, I think that would be a good thing for you. Uh, like I said, like forgiving the past, releasing the past, healing the past, healing yourself, all that would be, you know, the thing that kind of leads to this victory here with the Ace of Swords and the Chariot. With the Two of Pentacles, you have the Three of Cups. A uh, Three of Cups is about like celebrating and having fun and, and socializing as well. So again, two, two of Pentacles, work hard, play hard. If all you're doing is working, then I would definitely say that socializing or being social uh, could be very beneficial for you. Uh, I always say that, you know, again, I was stuck in my life for like four years and I didn't really do anything. And um, I was just like suffering the whole entire time. And I don't want anyone to go through that. And so, you know, one thing, you know, one of the things that broke me out of it was socializing. Like I started going out and having fun. Like before that, I was like punishing myself. And when I would go, would go out, I would have fun. I would get out of my head and then I would get answers. Like I'm convinced to the problems I was dealing with. So again, if we're, all we're doing is focusing on work, obviously things aren't going to go very well. Uh, next in the area 
of messages from your future self. You have this passion card and this patience card, another card of patience. <laughs> so patience is key here. Uh, but I feel like you need to uh, like follow your passions or do something that you're more passionate about. And that will probably also uh, set you free. You have the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. A Ace of Swords is your truth. And, you know, we need to grab on to the truth with the Ace of Swords and make it happen. It's also a card of laser-like focus. So the more focused we are with the Ace of Swords, again, the more successful we will be. So I would, like, focus on the things that you're trying to create or do and really make them happen. It's also a great card of balance. So the Ace of Swords is in perfect balance, and we have to balance things out with the Ace of Swords to be successful. So I think that you know balancing your life out or balancing uh, your, your, your situations out will be very helpful for you with the Ace of Swords. I also think that the Ace of Swords, you know, clearly there's some sort of victory coming in for you. You have this and you have the Chariot, which are you know both cards of some sort of big victory coming in. Uh, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is like hard, diligent work. But he's almost done with the work that he's done. He has only one more pentacle to complete, and he will have completed his work. Uh, so I feel for a lot of you that you're kind of close to a finish line here. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles is also material success on the horizon. So if you're hoping to like earn more money or if you're doing something uh, to make more money, this is definitely a very good card for putting the work in. You know, what I think is more important for you is like seeing the big picture. Sometimes I think the Eight of Pentacles, he's done all this work, but again, he's only focusing on the work. He's not he's not seeing what he has accomplished so far. And so sometimes I think with the Eight of Pentacles, we have to put the work we've done into perspective uh, because it immediately makes things that we're about to do much more possible. It's like if all, all we're focusing on is what's in front of us, then we, we really don't know what we're capable of doing. And I feel like the Eight of Pentacles is saying that you need to see like what you are capable of accomplishing and doing and having by, by putting it into perspective. And I think that would be a very good thing for you. Uh, you have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords, of course, is self-imposed restriction and uh, keeping yourself stuck. So Eight of Swords says you are not stuck. You can easily set yourself free. You know, she is, again, looking at something. Well, she's not really looking at anything, but she's kind of thinking from a limited perspective. She thinks she is stuck, but really the story of this card is all she has to do is lean up against these swords. She could cut herself free, take her blindfold off, and she would realize that all she has to do is step forward, and she could set herself free. Eight of Swords also represents only looking at one thing, way of doing things when there are many. So I think that being flexible or, you know, just realizing that there are many different ways that you can accomplish anything is going to help you out the most here, Leo, with this energy. And that's what I would focus on uh, with the Eight of Swords. Uh, with the Ace of Swords, you have the Three of Wands. Yeah, like, what are you waiting for? <laughs> even the Temperance card, even though it is a card of patience, uh, you know, it is a card that kind of says, what are you waiting for? He could easily step off onto that path behind him and he could go get this glowing crown that exists you know right here so he could easily stop doing what he's doing and just start working towards that crown uh three of wands is my card that says like what are you waiting for uh you know he is looking at those boats in the ocean they represent an opportunity for adventure and he could easily just get on one of those boats and have a great adventure uh with the eight of pentacles you have the four of wands so definitely could be a new romantic cycle you know, that new moon in Libra says new romantic cycle begins. So you could be starting something new or, uh, you know, creating something new in your life. And I feel that would be very good for you as well with this uh, with this card. Four of Wands, of course, is a card of marriage. So, you know, again, you're, you're not necessarily going to get married today, but, you know, this could represent marriage in the future. I also feel this could be your commitment. You know, you could just be making any commitment. And didn't I, I said something about, on, about like uh, the finish line on the Eight of Pentacles, like you're very close to finishing something. And the Four of Wands is a finish line card. There's like this finish line up here. Uh, the Four of Wands is a portal card. You have to cross through the portal right here in the middle of the card to go and have a celebration. Uh, we also have the Three of Cups, which these three ladies are celebrating a harvest. So a lot of you could be about to celebrate some sort of harvest. With the Eight of Pentacles, sorry, with the Eight of Swords, you have the Eight of Pentacles again. So when, whenever we have these repeating cards, repeating cards kind of represent... Um, you know, they kind of represent confirmation for your path or confirmation for the message as well. So it's basically the universe saying I meant what I said. I also feel the Eight of Pentacles is encouraging you to get to work on something, uh, but it's probably something more efficient. You know, again, if I were a Leo, uh, the, I, I would only be focusing on efficiency, not necessarily hard work. Because again, you have the Two of Pentacles, which says you're probably already working way too hard anyway. Uh, so you need to kind of 
make sure you're focusing on things that create balance or that allow you to balance your life out, that's going to be more important. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this listen card. It says your inner child has something to say. You have this card that says let love guide you. It says choose to see the good in the world. We kind of said this, um, you know, that you have a choice on how you, like on the perspective that you have about how things are going in your life. Um, and I think that is going to be important for you, of course. Uh, of course, as well, we are in a time where I believe we need to follow our heart or our inner child. And I think that would be great, you know, making sure that you're doing things that fulfill you, that make you happy, that make you feel childlike and playful. All that is going to be very good. Uh, you have the Two of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Chariot. I, I like that you have the Two of Swords in this reading because you have the Eight of Swords. And, you know, the Two of Swords in the good stuff would kind of say that you are seeing another way of doing things in your life. She has this island behind her. I always say that she needs to get to that island because that island represents like another way of doing things or a new perspective. She is only looking at things from her limited perspective here and she's thinking that she only has two options when there's actually another way uh, that she could do things over here and it's gonna turn out much better. Uh, you have the Ace of Wands. I love it. Ace of Wands is my favorite card in the deck. Ace of Wands is out with the old and with the new. Clearly, there's a rebirth, and I think that's what the Ace of Wands is talking about, is that you're like rebirthing something, and this is the new beginning, or the passionate new beginning that you could be experiencing. Sometimes I feel the Ace of Wands is just that one thing we need to motivate us to success. It's kind of like that spark of hope, or that spark of inspiration, or that, you know, just that, in that spark that kind of motivates us to success. And so this could be, you know, success that's coming in for you, or it could be you uh, be feeling inspired to start something new. <laughs> and you also have the chariot, and the chariot is a victory, and he's also leaving the city behind him behind, and he's moving in a new direction. So a lot of you could be moving in new directions, and these new directions could be creating more success, and which is a good thing, of course, here, Leo. So I feel for a lot of you, the chariot is saying that you are kind of like moving towards success or creating more success in your life. And like I said, obviously that is a good thing. Uh, with the Two of Swords, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles card of resourcefulness, and you're clearly going to have to be resourceful at this time. Uh, I feel there are ways for you to, like, I feel like there are ways where you could you know, do something where you get more out of it. And I don't know, <laughs> that feels like a very vague message to me. I don't really have any good examples, uh, Leo, but you know, again, especially in work or business, I would do your research and like just see if there are other ways that you can do your work because this is about being resourceful. It's really about, you know, getting the best bang for your buck with the work that you do. It's like, I, you know, I teach a lot of classes on about YouTube and like a lot of times I tell people to start with shorts, for example, right? Because people can create a short video very quickly. They can put it out and see if it works. And, you know, my, my strategy is create shorts, see what works, and then create long versions of the shorts once you find out what your audience wants, right? So that's like, that's an example of how you can be efficient, um, you know, kind of do something efficiently and then double down on what's working. And I feel like that's what the Queen of Pentacles is really saying. Uh, with the Ace of Wands, you have the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you are feeling more fortunate. Maybe not right now, like maybe not this second, but I think as we move throughout the end of the year, uh, you're just going to feel better in general. And I know that's kind of a lame message, but that's really what I get off this Wheel of Fortune is like things are feeling better. And with the Chariot, you have the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is this or that thinking. And again, you have the Two of Swords twice. You have a bunch of repeating cards here, actually. So the repeating, whenever we have a bunch of these repeating cards, again, it really kind of says that it's kind of like confirmation for the message. It says that you're on the right path as well. So, you know, again, I think that if you're thinking about taking your life in a new direction with the chariot and the two of swords, uh, that would definitely be confirmation. Uh, you have this indecision card. Yes, what are you waiting for? I feel like you're being guided towards a choice. Uh, you know, this is like a higher self angel right here as well. It's like your higher self is trying to guide you towards something. And I feel like you need to kind of like make your move, you know, and I'm pretty sure I've been saying this to you for weeks now. And you have this discovery card. You have to be open to adventure, Chariot. Chariot basically says you have to be open to going places you've never been before. Uh, you always get messages like this. Like thinking back to your past readings, Leo, you always get like the three wands and two wands. You have the three wands right here. So the three of wands is about stepping into the unknown. And you know, I think a lot of people need to do this right now, but definitely you. <laughs> so I think you are one of the signs that definitely needs to step into the unknown.
Uh, you have this egotism card. Uh, Mars goes retrograde in your sign in Leo at the end of the year. I would be careful of people that have a big ego or that are like, be, you know, coming from a, a place of ego. Uh, you have this influence card. Um, you know, if, if you are getting into a new connection because you do have this card that says a new romantic cycle begins, I would be very careful of external influences. You know, this card kind of says to me that there's something external that could ruin a good connection. So I would be careful of like, you know, external influences on a connection. You know, if unless you're willing to invite a person into the bedroom with you and your partner, you probably shouldn't take their advice. This card, you know, gives me vibes of like, you know, like an ex messaging you and being like, you shouldn't be with this person. They're this, they're that. And it's like, I would go directly to the source. I don't listen to external influences. Uh, finally, yeah, I can't make this up either. You have this resourcefulness card. Yeah, I think there are just better ways to do things. Again, more efficient ways. And you're going to, like, I don't know what you all do. So you're going to have to do your research. But especially in work or business, like, I would just say, is there a better way? And by doing your research, you'll probably find a better way, which will make you more successful. Uh, but pretty interesting here, Leo. I like it. So thank you for being here. And definitely enjoy your week.